Hey everyone, my name is Deepak and today we're going to compare two very popular messaging platforms, Discord versus Slack. A little bit of background, both were started as gaming companies but later became messaging and collaboration apps and both have quite similar user interface. So let's compare both of these apps and find out what are some of the similarities, differences and most important, which one you should be choosing for your work. As usual, before we dive in, an important reminder to hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more of productivity and collaboration videos. So let's jump right in. Let's first take a look at the pricing. Discord is kind of free. You are getting all of this Discord chat and voice calling capabilities for free. On top of free version, Discord also offers Nitro plans for those who like a little bit of extra, which gives you things like using an animated avatar, increasing the file upload size for high quality file sharing, high resolution video, screen share, and live streaming. Whereas on the other hand, Slack is basically has four plans, starting with free version, which limits number of messages you can access to 10,000 recent messages and only 10 integration with the other apps, which is really not useful if you are a business user. Standard plans cost around $6.67, plus will cost you around $12.67, and there is another plan called Enterprise Guild for enterprise users. In my view, you can avail most of these features on Discord without paying a dime. Whereas to enjoy Slack's advanced features, you'll have to pay more. So in a nutshell, Discord is probably going to cost you less. Next, let's look at UI for both apps. Starting with Discord, once you log into Discord, you would be taken to homepage where on the left side, you will see all your Discord servers. In the middle section on top, you would see the search bar where you can search any specific contact or channel. In the main screen, you would have a section for friends where you will see the list of friends you've added to your Discord. You can send a message or start a voice and video call. Active Now section on the right will show you if any of your friends have started playing a game or if they're busy or on a voice call. So this gives you real-time information which you can use to interact with your friends. On top, you can filter this list using online, pending, blocked, and also you can send a new friend request. If you click on the server, then you would be taken right inside the server channels. Note here you get both chat and voice channels and you can join either one. Moving on to Slack UI, Slack has quite similar UI starting from workspaces on the left side where you get access to your workspaces and inside channels. Also you can customize sidebar for direct messages, files, drafts, apps, in the top middle section, you get search window. You can search across all the app for people, file, etc. Also, middle section is where you do most of your chat and file sharing. And on the bottom, you can start an audio huddle. You can also do a video call inside a channel for up to 15 users. Next is Discord servers and Slack workspaces. So when I first heard of servers in Discord, I was like, why do I need a server? Do I need to pay for it? Who will maintain it? But servers inside Discord are like space for a team or a community where you can chat and share your ideas. To create one, click on the plus sign if you would like to add a new server and you will see a pop-up where you can create your own or start from a template. You can also join any server on Discord if you have the link and Discord lets you send a direct message to anyone inside a Discord. Just like Discord servers, Slack has workspaces. 
Each workspace can have multiple channels inside it where you can chat and share content. Slack have more control of your workspaces and you can administrate them via admin portal. Slack direct messages works within a company workspace only. And if you want to message someone outside, then you would have to use Slack Connect. Now next on is channels and chat experience. Inside a Discord server, you can create four different kinds of channels, starting with text, voice, announcement, and staging, which is used for events. Channels are spaces where all the action happens. You can also create private channels, which would be visible only to members who are invited and part of the Discord server. So quite a few options there. File size in Discord is limited to 8 MB unless you upgrade to Nitro, which allows you to share up to 100 MB files. Discord only lets you share files from your own device, so there's no integration with Google Drive or OneDrive. You also get large set of emojis, stickers, and GIFs to choose from. In Slack, by default, a channel is created as a public channel, and you have an option to turn it into a private channel. You can go to a channel browser and join any public channels inside that workspace. Slack allows file sizes of around 5 GB of storage on free version, and that number increases once you move on to paid plans. So it is kind of a neck to neck here. However, Slack has slight advantage because of increased file size and ability to share audio and video clips, which was introduced recently. You can also share Google Drive files in Slack, as well as code or text snippets, which is great for work use cases. Slack allows you to make custom emojis. Also, it has large set of emojis and GIFs, which makes chat more fun, just like Discord. Now, next up is audio video. If you start a voice call in Discord, you can invite up to 100 participants and you can have up to 25 simultaneous video feeds. Also, Discord provides you with noise suppression, which is powered by Crisp, and some advanced features like eco cancellation and automatic gain control. Whereas in Slack, audio participants limit is set to 15 for audio and video calls, which kind of makes it unusable for larger meetings or events. And I can easily say it, Discord has better voice and video capabilities. Now let's talk about app integrations. Discord has this feature called Rich Presence feature, which enables it to integrate with many games like EA, Payday 2, Battle Riot, and Divinity, Original Sin 2, you name it. This feature gives you more details on what games your friends are playing and for how long and, and which stage they are at. Makes it perfect for gamers and also you can natively integrate streaming platforms like Twitch and YouTube. Although you can use third-party automation tools like Zapier and Automation AI to bring some more integrations for productivity apps like Notion, Trello, Act. You can even connect Slack and Discord using these tools. Coming to Slack, it has over 1000 plus integration with productivity and collaboration apps, making it perfect for small and large businesses. You can easily set up natively Trello, Asana, Zoom, Webex, all inside Slack. Slack Workflow Builder is another powerful tool which gives users to automate routine tasks in Slack. So we can clearly see Slack is more useful for business environments. Moving on to communities. Discord is known for its public communities. And I find Discord has made it a lot easier to find, search, and join these communities. So if you click on explore public servers inside Discord, you can search by industry type, for example, gaming, music, education, or science and tech, you can choose any server and click on it to join. The reason why Discord is becoming very popular is mainly because of this 
communities and the way anyone can join and benefit from the knowledge that is shared inside those communities. Slack communities, these are more workspace centric. So you can create a workspace if you want to build a community and then invite people to it. You cannot search for Slack communities unless you get invited to one or you know the public URL of that community. So given these differences, which service should you choose? At the end of the day, Discord feels almost like a social network linked and banded together by communities. You can join many specific servers and join ongoing conversations. Slack is not like this because it focuses on building a service that is curated for businesses and internal communications. So in turn, Slack comes off more like a corporate chat room where you can have more control. Discord is ideal for online gamers while Slack, in my view, is better for businesses. It's just what they are built for. However, in light of recent updates and developments, there are now numerous business teams on Discord. So it would be interesting to see how this battle turns out. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts and please do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.